Welcome to the first video of section 4. In the previous section, we looked at making and building our own container images. In this section, we're going to revisit the docker run command and explore some of the features it provides us when running containerized commands. To start, we're going to look at its ability to limit resource usage. Running many containers on the same host means they share resources despite being in isolated environments. In order for them to live happily together, Docker allows us to set CPU priority and memory limitations. We can set these at runtime using arguments of Docker Run. First, let's look at the ability to prioritize CPU to certain container processes. To make this clear, we're going to be using a container called PrimeSum, which will calculate the sum of all prime numbers up to a given amount. It's a simple way to demonstrate some kind of long running CPU intensive task. Get it with docker pull Donald Simpson slash prime sum. Let's see what happens when we run it. The argument 3000 means run until it's summed 3000 prime numbers starting from one. You can see once it finishes, it displays how long it took to run. Let's run a few in the background so we can see what it's like when multiple container processes compete for CPU. Since the first one starts with the least competition, let's look at the last container, since it ran while there was the most competition. It took much longer than when we ran it alone. However, if we were to prioritize its CPU usage, we would get it to finish much quicker, at least compared to the others. We'll run it once by itself with priority so we can use our command history to quickly run it as the fifth process. The value of the C argument is going to be a relative weight, so the specific value depends on what value you give into other processes. Okay, now let's run five prime sums again, with the last one having priority. Looking at the logs. Now we're going to look at limiting memory usage. This works differently than CPU in that we can specify a maximum amount of memory that can be used before the process is killed. Again, I have pre-made container and demonstrated this. Let's pull it. It's called Donald Simpson slash memalloc. This tool lets us allocate and also use memory up to a specific amount specified in megabytes. If we run it with one argument, it will allocate that amount in memory and wait for us to exit. Specifying a second argument will actually use this memory. We have this because Docker limitation only works against used memory, not allocated. So let's try it without limitation. Allocating and using 256 megabytes. This time we're going to run detached so we can inspect its usage. Using px orcs, we can find the process and see its memory usage in kilobytes. Here, we can see it's using at least 256 megabytes, since the program runtime also uses some memory. OK, let's stop that process. Now let's run the same experiment using a memory limit. The docker run -m argument lets us specify an amount in various units. Here, we'll use M for megabytes and limit it to 256 megabytes. We're going to run it in the foreground this time. We can see it allocated memory, but when it went to use it up, it was killed once it reached 256. We can see in Docker PS, it has exited. These mechanisms are a convenience of Docker to let you allocate or limit certain system resources to containers. In the next video, We'll be taking a look at how to use Docker Run to override default settings.